What's happening, YouTube? So, welcome. This is my first, first video of the Versus series that I will be doing, and I really hope that you guys like this and interact with me on this. For this video, I will be talking about Goku versus Naruto. If you don't know who those characters are, to be honest with you, number one, I don't know where you've been. Number two, to be honest, you don't need to see this video. Um, but if you do know who both those characters are, then you know what? You and I are going to have some fun. So, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to compare their most powerful forms to date. Okay? Today is April 30th. Alright? Their most powerful forms to date. Now... In Dragon Ball Z, there is an exception. And I say exception because Goku has a Super Saiyan 4 level. That was part of Dragon Ball GT. I'm not counting that, okay? And before you guys have a fit, I'm going to tell you why. Dragon Ball GT was not created by the original creator of the Dragon Ball Z series, okay? Akira Toriyama created Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. He did not create Dragon Ball GT. His son did. So because of that, I'm not counting the Dragon Ball GT series, which means Super Saiyan 4 is off the table. All right? But I am counting the movies. So that means I'm going to count Battle of the Gods. And the reason for that is... Akira Toriyama had his hands on that movie, right? So, because he had his hands in that movie, I am counting it, right? With Naruto, I am counting all the way to the ending of the series. And to be honest, I'll count the movie, um... No, the last Naruto the movie this is his last movie that came out I'll count that all right so how do I even start this all right just to not play favoritism I'm going to try to explain this as equally as I can all right I'm gonna compare the two now I'm going to tell you who I choose and then I'm going to explain to you why in details of both of them. All right. I like both of the series. I've seen both of them beginning to end. But I'm going with Goku. All right. And I'm going to tell you why. Goku just reached a form called Super Saiyan God. Okay. He reached this form by pretty much absorbing the power of six other Saiyans, all right? And he gave him the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the God of Destruction, all right? Now, Goku has an ability called the Kamehameha, Spare Bomb, and the Dragon Fist, all right? I am only listing those three because those three are his most famous attacks. All right. Um, the Kamehameha wave. He can shoot it out right away. Which they call Kai. Which is this is all pretty much just power. So he can shoot beams out of his hands. At rapid paces if he wants to. It's command man wave. If he wants to use it to his full power, he has to take a little time to power it up. Okay. The spirit bomb takes the longest to power up. And he's pretty much absorbing the energy from the planet. But that is pretty much one of his most powerful attacks. Alright. 
Dragon Fist is another very powerful attack. And that one, he pretty much rushes at you with his fist closed and a golden dragon surrounds him. So he hits you, but all you see is the dragon. Okay? And he's mainly famous for using it. In the movies and the original Dragon Ball Z series, once again, I'm not counting GT. He's famous for using it in the Super Saiyan 3 form. Okay? Now with Naruto. Naruto, his most powerful form was when he received a power boost from the Sage of Six Paths. Pretty much, you find out that Naruto is pretty much a reincarnation of his son, Ashura. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ashura is A-S-U-R-A. So, he gives him a power boost, and he looks a little bit more like him. Okay? Um, Naruto has his uh, multi-shadow clone, Jutsu. Okay? Where he could pretty much create pretty much as many clones as he want. Alright? It's been proven that he's made damn near cities worth of clones. Alright? Um... He also has his Rasengan and different variation forms of it. He has his Rasen Shuriken and he's able to put in the chakra of other tail beasts into his Rasen Shuriken. I know, like I said, if you don't watch the series, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to get into detailed analysis of what I just said because then the video would be entirely too long. All you need to know is that Naruto has a tail beast within him, the nine tails. There are nine tail beasts, and he has a little bit of chakra of each of them in him. So he's able to take that chakra and put it into his Rasengans, all right? If you only watch the anime, you don't know what I'm talking about, but you're going to see. If you read the manga, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Manga, manga, however you pronounce it. Now, he can also have, he also has a tail beast mode where he pretty much takes the form of the nine tails, all right? So he becomes a giant fox with nine tails, basically. And every attack that he can use, he can use in that mode. And he also has a tail beast um, bomb, which is pretty much, it's, you can compare it to Goku's spirit bomb. It takes a while to power up. And then he can shoot it out. But it's very, very powerful and destructive. And I give it to him. He could prob It's probably powerful enough to blow up an island. Okay? Now, with those two comparisons made, the reason that I choose Goku is because even though Naruto is very powerful at the ending of the series, and he would give Goku one hell of a fight, I believe that Goku would beat him because Goku has the power to destroy planets. Yes, Naruto is quick, but Goku still has the instant transmission under his belt if he feels as though his speed can't compare. Okay? So, and I mean, yes, Naruto fights very well, but it's been noted in the Dragon Ball Z series that when Goku fights, he becomes a fighting genius. Even though when both Goku and Naruto are normal, they both act silly as hell. Okay, so that's my pick. I pick Goku. Like I said, not to say Naruto won't give him a fight, but I'm sorry. Goku takes that cake. All right. If you agree with me, hit the like button. If you don't agree with me, then you know what? Hit me in the comment section below. Send me a message on Facebook. Send me a message on Twitter. I want to know why you choose Naruto. Okay? If you think Naruto could beat Goku, I am all ears. I would love to hear why you think Naruto can beat Goku. Alright? This is open for debate. If you feel as though that you have enough evidence to prove me wrong, I am willing to read your messages. If you want to make a video, I'm willing to watch a video and you explaining it, okay? Tag me in it. 
I want us to interact. We can have open discussions, friendly little debate on these versus series. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, guys. Like I said, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to share it and prove to people why Goku would beat Naruto, share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, guys, and until the next Versus series, I'm out.